of course, it was it was uh, kind of a shock. Uh, this initial shock at the beginning, but I was very clear in my mind what we have to do when I decided to to put my to put my documents for the job in India. And since very beginning, uh, when I started analyzing at that time I League and ISL League and having look closer look at the players and the teams and uh, the competitions, I could see clear potential. And knowing how big India is, I knew in the bottom of my heart that there is plenty more of the players which have to be discovered. And there needs to be a lot more hard work to put in, a lot more organizational work to put in, and a lot more togetherness in doing all this. So, I put my application for the job. People were happy hearing what I had to say. They gave me the opportunity to work, and I will never regret that decision when I decided to come to India and start uh, because I am in between fantastic people, great players, they are not only good players, talented players, they are great person, they are hard-working boys, they listen well, they follow everything we speak on, and whatever happens, you know that in many, many occasions, luck can decide at the end what will be your success or, or uh, no success. So, we just going to work hard, that's what we promised to each other, we're going to do our best in every situation. Amazing result at the moment, you know, but uh, as I said, after, the, after that game in, in the press room, you know, that can happen in one out of ten games to get points against Qatar, which is such a quality team and the best team in Asia. Top three, even when they're not in the fourth. So, we need to work a lot harder uh, to do and to have continuous successes against better teams in Asia, and that's what we are working on. I think, uh, when I think about, what I remember the way is the game that you played against Qatar. Uh, again, we are coming back to the same game. But just uh, putting emphasis on the game that after playing the way we played against Oman and after playing the game the way we played against Qatar, I don't think we boys did, did justice to the kind of things we would have done in the other two games. And it's completely on the boys, completely, completely on all of us. That is the reason why gentlemen asked why, whether you are happy with three points or not. Uh, of course, there are no there are, there are no machines that can go back and fix things, but we should have. We should have done better. And that is exactly the point in going forward. You know, when you ask the question like, what are your dreams, where you think the Indian team can, can proceed as a player, I think every time we play, the minimum we require is to put in an effort. And that's a clear message from him. With whatever time we got, with whatever is going through in the last three, four months, with whatever he got, the only message is just go there and do whatever you can. And, and as, 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 as an Indian and as a proud Indian, that's what I and the boy want to do. That's simple as that. And after that, if we can go in and then give whatever we have, whatever reserve we get, we take it. And I just hope in coming here, you can ask me again for the lovely performances that we produce in the next few games. We are happy to be here and show you, you know, what is the situation in India and how much efforts our Football Federation has put together with the Qatari government and the Qatari Football Federation to grow us over here and not to get out of this qualifier. So, as much as I can say, we are happy to be here and to have chance participating, even the circumstances are not ideal. As you know, last time when we were here, everything was normal. This time is far different, but we need to accept the situation and live with it. This all started was to, to win the third spot in the group, to be honest, you know. We knew that if we can surprise Oman in the first game in Guwati, that we, we could get some chance of thinking about second spot. That didn't happen, obviously, immediately after that game, we were concentrating and planning how to achieve as many more, more, more points as possible. Uh, it was not good uh, a result for us, a home game against Bangladesh. They absolutely deserve the point out of that game. They fought as lions, you know, they stopped for all our attacks and all, all our wishes to win that game. But throughout these qualifiers, we had some, some
some uh, uh, injuries of important players on our team. And we are still not the team which can count on 25 to 30 good quality players, uh, similar quality. When we lose two or three of them who are in the first 11 choice, then we suffer a lot. And for most of the qualifiers, we, we were without Sandesh Jinga, who is our stone at the back, who is the leader in our back line, who is controlling everything and leading everyone and putting everyone, everyone into position. So uh, we need to be objective and say the results are realistic, results are there, but our aim is still the same. Whatever position is at the end of these qualifiers, we need to qualify for final stages of AFC. That's our aim, and we're going to follow that path. It's to go to final stages of Asian Cup. Uh, we started developing new Indian team two years ago. That process was stopped uh, when pandemic started. Obviously, we couldn't keep working. We didn't have any camp for more than 12 months. And uh, the reconstruction and idea of reconstruction of the league competitions in India was also destroyed in regards to the pandemic. So hopefully this pandemic will stop soon and everything will go back to normal and we can plan accordingly. It's not easy, you know, that how big state is India, it's, it's enormous, so many different, different uh, mentalities and different uh, people in one state, but the aim is the same to create a team which will be very competitive for the next qualifiers for the World Cup. That's what we are working for. Uh, we all have one same dream and that dream goes uh, in a way that we want to get into top 8 in Asia and from that position to compete harder and stronger for the future World Cup qualifiers. We are really pleased to be here to play the qualifiers, especially given the fact that work is going back in our country. It wasn't easy. But thankfully we all keep here and we have some 8-10 days of preparation and everyone is here, all the boys are safe and we are looking forward to the point back. We've got three games in front of us and uh, it starts against uh, the host tomorrow. Sorry. And we are excited and, and yeah, everyone is very optimistic about the games. They have recently played a lot of games against uh, South American teams and European teams which gives us a chance to watch a lot of videos on them. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, as far as what we have to face against a Qatari team, there would be any surprises. There's a lot of information there. We are, on the other hand, we are more focused on what we have to do. Already, the coach has spoken about the shortcomings of our camp. And the last time that, that we were all together and, and played as a team, uh, the lack of penalties and all. But uh, also, message was clear from our coaching side is just Think about what you can do, think about the best that you can perform. And uh, the, the good part of playing in Qatar is uh, there won't be any surprises because we have watched a lot of videos on them. Definitely a strong side. I'm just going to go there and, and try our best to be a team tomorrow. Everyone knows what it means for Indian football. And each one of our players, they will understand how it much means for them and he is on the pitch with them. They, they all feel more confident, they all feel better players, and they go out on the pitch with much more courage. So his importance in this team is unbelievable, that's what I can say. And also, not only on the pitch, outside the pitch also. So it's a great pleasure uh, having him in the team, uh, have opportunity working with him. And as I said many times before, I will do everything of my abilities to keep him as long as possible while he is in such a shape and uh, working uh, working in, in such professional way as he does now. He, he feels like he's 25, he is at every training session like he's 25, and he plays like he's 25, still scoring goals like he's 25. So he's here with us and I'm very, very happy that he is this time here, that he can encourage more our team and our players to lead them into this first game and hopefully help us uh, finishing these qualifiers in an expected way. Obviously, we are very proud of the achievement from the last game. You know, that was a big surprise. I would even say shock in, in football in Asia. Uh, one footballing world, small India, taking points from the actual Asian champion here at their own ground. 
But everything was different, as I said, you know, from the very first minute of our arrival here, there were thousands of our supporters at the airport waiting on us, giving us, giving to our team an extra energy, extra positiveness, extra feeling like we were at home playing, playing a football match. And you know how much that can influence on a football team. Of course, all the credit to, to our players for that game, because they survived waves and waves of the attacks from, from Tatari team. And what is most important for us is not to lose nerves in the first game, go through it without injuries, and think about realistic chances in the games against Afghanistan and Qatar. You know, we are not over Afghanistan and Bangladesh, sorry. So, uh, we have our working plan, we are going through it. Of course, it's not easy because most of our players uh, played last game end of February. 